So I finally finished Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and well, let's talk about it. Breakpoint, for those unfamiliar, was an attempt at making a cool, almost mil-sim style game into a looter shooter like Division or Destiny, and it failed. Full of glitches and bugs, the looting aspect just annoyed people, and the overly aggressive monetization just really fucked people off. This game made Ubisoft realise that making clones of the same game just with different names may not carry the fortune they had hoped, so they pledged to make more varied games. So many months later, has Breakpoint improved at all, or is it just still a mess? Before we take a look at the game now, let's take a peek and I'll just explain some of the baffling decisions they took for this game. And there is a lot. They removed AI companions in favour of forcing players to play with other humans, and well, yeah, no. If you didn't want to play with other humans, you played on your own, and let me tell you, that was not fun. Since the game was designed around multiple players, you were just hit in the face with overwhelming force, and it's not fun. Which is why I stopped playing. With dying all the time to wonky checkpoints and loading screens that take till the end of time to finish, it just really wasn't fun at all. So what's something else that was missing from Wildlands? Loot. Lots of fancy coloured loot. Loot was a huge part of this game. If you weren't upgrading and gaining better gear, you would be doing absolutely pitiful damage, and just be having a bad time in general. If you found a nice assault rifle you liked using, Fuck you, this SMG has bigger numbers, use that. I myself don't mind loot too much, but in a game like this, it's just annoying. I want to enjoy clearing a base without worrying if my guns are high enough level, making sure I open every crate I find to find better pants, and making sure I pick up all the glowing lights all over the battlefield. It's just annoying in this game, as the first game wasn't this. You cleared bases in Wildlands to find different weapons, and just for the fun of doing it. The menus are something I hate about this game. They are just so cluttered, and the menu where you select weapons and missions and so on, it's just a fucking mess. It takes so long to do anything in these, and it just drags the pace down. I spend more time in menus than I do in games sometimes. They also remove rebels from the game, which yeah, it may not be the same setting as Wildlands, but there is a rebel force in the story, so you miss out on all the cool rebel abilities you had in the earlier game, like spotting, mortars, and so on. There's also a major option you miss out on, which was vehicle deliveries. And to me, that was just so easy. Call them, and boom, you have a chopper. Yes, sometimes they'd stick it up a mountain or in the ocean, but at least it was there. In Breakpoint, you have to go find one, or use a bivouac, and use that to spawn one in, and it takes for fucking ever. Ubisoft also added very aggressive microtransactions. You can buy everything. Skill points, materials, skins, camos, cars, and so much more on top of the season pass, which is the rest of the game. They also added a raid, which I'm pretty sure no one asked for in a Ghost Recon game. A hard base raid maybe, but not an actual raid. So what about now? The game has had a few major updates which arguably are pretty game changing. Firstly, they added the ghost mode update, which included a variety of options from turning loot off, making enemies easier, and changing HUD options. A very good update since you don't have to keep swapping weapons and so on, but one of the best updates we got was the re-adding of AI teammates. And what do you know, it makes the game so much more fun. They bug out from time to time, but it's a lot more fun for a solo player now. You can fully customise the team, everything from weapons, gender, face and outfits, so you can create your real own personal team. You can do the sync shot from Wildlands and give them orders too, and they are pretty good. They can sometimes clear entire bases while you chase loot. Don't worry about leaving them behind either, when you get into a vehicle, they'll just teleport. They're magic. So there's two big updates that have really improved the game, but aside from that, the game is still a buggy mess, and some things are just odd. Cutscenes are really bizarre. You can be a fully kitted ghost, and in the cutscene, you'll just have a pistol wearing barely anything. It's weird and I do not understand it. Faces are also fucking scary sometimes. There's a system in the game where you can be injured during battle, which will cut down your health by a chunk and make you limp around. It's a cool idea, but it doesn't change much. Doesn't really affect anything. Same with the stamina system too. You're meant to drink water every now and then, but I didn't drink a single bit of water all game and I didn't feel as though I needed to. You can choose between a variety of classes with their own skills and perks, and levelling them up is actually pretty fun. Completing the challenges aimed for that role, I found to be a really good time. The class abilities are kinda hit and miss, but I do enjoy using some of them. The sniper one is a personal favourite, as it just makes sure sniper rounds are a lot more powerful, and it makes drones very easy to kill. 
I do not understand the panther one though. You just run in, throw some smoke down, and kinda hope you do something with it. I don't get what I'm meant to do with this class. Weapon customization is also pretty good. Not as good as Wildlands, I think finding attachments is a bit more awkward this time around, and I found them at a lot slower pace. But changing your weapon with attachments and paint jobs is just fun, even if you'll change it in 5 minutes. So something I haven't spoken about, and won't too much, is the main story. I didn't pay attention to much of it, other than a man from The Walking Dead wants to launch drones all over the place and bring peace or something. It's a lot of waffle, but moves you from place to place. My go at the final mission was enjoyable, so cover your eyes or skip to this time if you don't want to see anything from the final mission. Fighting this behemoth, I think that's what it's called, was fun, even though it just ended up being like Robot Wars since my gunner was very picky about when he wanted to shoot. We ended up just mating and I had to finish it off when it gave birth to me. I then went on to fight Walker, well the second time I did, the first time he glitched inside a room, pussy. It was an easy fight and pretty anticlimactic, but so is every boss in this game. The game ended with going, the story's kinda not done yet, so if you want to see the rest of it, give us more money for the season pass. We have events every now and again like in Wildlands, but this time they come with battle passes, so you can unlock some neat and very questionable items. We've had the Terminator event, which I missed out on, but you can still play the missions from it and, yeah, I like the Predator one more. The outfits are also pretty lame. Currently we have a Rebel one going, and it's kind of cool, raiding bases, convoys, it's just more wildland stuff. The battle passes that I mentioned are free, you don't have to pay for them, you just do the missions and it levels it up, which I guess is a bonus. Graphically the game can be really pretty at times, I'm not a fan of how muddy characters get, it's like you lie down for a second and straight away it's like you've been rolling around in shit for hours. Graphically sometimes it also wonks out by not loading if you're driving too fast, or if you're in co-op with someone else and they are driving too fast. Also if you enter a base again too fast, enemies will not load for a while. This could just be a console scrub issue though. So breakpoint now. It's a bit more fun and playable compared to its release and you have the option to turn a lot of the annoying or stupid shit off, but the game itself is still incredibly bloated with random side missions, dailies, raids, PvP, as well as all the bugs and glitches to go along with that. And I just find it can sometimes be really overwhelming when you open your map and that it's just covered in dots. I did enjoy my time with this game, but I just wish they made it more Wildlands, but in a different area. Give us new gadgets, weapons to play with, but trying to make this a looter shooter with raids and whatever? It's really weird and unnecessary. I do hope they make another game and aim for more of an armor style. Give us difficult missions and bases to take down, but not because the enemy is a high level, but because you need to approach it carefully and tactically. I really think Ghost Recon is more suited for an armor style game rather than Division or Destiny. So that is my look at Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It's okay now, it's not great, it's probably will never be wonderful, but I did have a good time playing through it. So have you tried Ghost Recon Breakpoint recently and what did you think about it? Has the AI update improved your opinion or is it still kind of just a wanky mess? So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.